Okay, I've been waiting for this for a while. Um, I gotta say it. The sad news is that my hamster, Albus, recently died. got to bury him out in my backyard. Um, I'll show it to you real quick, but once I'm done with that, I'll show you my new hamster. He's very nice. Okay. Um, just walking there. So this is actually my first vlog. Um, I might do a weekly vlogs about my hamsters, but you know, I'm not sure. I'm one of those people that just doesn't make plans and just does random videos. Okay guys, so, we're over here. This makes me so sad. Here is his grave. Um, you can see it, we're actually gonna get a rock. That says we're gonna write Albus on it, and you know he was just such a, an an amazing magical hamster. I mean, he's different. Like I'm not even joking. He's literally magic. I mean, Thunder, he's an awesome hamster, but he's not magic like Al Albus. Hi, Tony. Um, you know Albus, it was just an amazing hamster. Just give you a few seconds. In about a year, we're going to undig him, my, me and my family. My family and I, I should say. We're gonna see his bones, I guess. I don't know. But, you know, just give you a few seconds. Now, what really scares me about walking on to here is those cactuses that my grandma planted and my grandpa a long time ago, but. You know, you can see. Okay guys, so I'm gonna walk downstairs. Um, I'm going to show you this uh, paper that I wrote about Albus, and me and my sister wanna keep it for ever, as long as we can. Okay, so here it is. Um, I've got two pages. I'm probably gonna write another one in a little bit, you know. Just, or three pages actually, just so my family can remember him. But I am going to read it out loud um, for you guys. Just so you, you know, he, yeah, just so you know who Albus was. And you know, if your hamster dies, you can always write one of these too. All you really need to, to use is Microsoft Word. If not that, just, you know. You can write it out in hand, but you know, I save this to my computer over there, mine and my grandma's. But mm, let's get into it. Albus. Albus was an extraordinary hamster. He was so nice, kind, loving, and really could, and you could really be best friends with him if you wanted to. He was even awesome enough to take food from your hand eat at the dinner table with your family, and believe it or not, he will sleep with you if you have the patience. Albus was a winter white hamster. He had gray fur on his back and white fur on his belly. He had cute black eyes and had clean white teeth. He always made sure to keep his pelt slick, slick and straight, even though Lily and I would gel his hair and dye it with marker. Albus lived to be about three years and three months old. The average lifespan of a hamster is two to three. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna say it's more like two to two, two years. That's what it says at PetSmart, but at Petco it says two to three. In my opinion, Albus is one of the world's nicest hamsters. He never bit you. He never ran away from you, and he won't pee poop or pee on you. Albus has had so many adventures in his life. One time he ran off in our house while well, my family and I were camping for four days. And my family found him after we were camping, we found his huge, this huge nest of bedding in our closet. So we guessed that that was where he was hiding. Also one time we took Elvis to 
Butte, Montana. It was so fun with him. My sister and my cousin did races with their hamsters. They took them outside and just mostly showed the hamsters around Butte. Another time Albus got out of his cage was when we first got him. I think he was so skinny he just fit through the bars of his cage. He was out in the house for about two days without food or water. How my sister caught him was putting a bowl of peanut butter in our living room. Uh, Albus fell for it right away. He climbed into it while my sister and I were watching the bowl. So guys, that's the first page. Um, actually, he's had so much more adventures. My sister's taken him out to the goalie, like, I don't know, goalie outside of our old house like 20 times. But let's get to the next page. Um, I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds if you want to read it by yourself. La la la. So you can just hit pause there. Okay, so let's get to the next page. Um, ah, sorry, my shadow's in the way. My sister took Albus out every day. I took him out every two days about... In my my mom took him out every two weeks. My sister took him outside about every two weeks. Albus had a very full life. I love him with all my heart. He was my main star on my YouTube channel. He was tied for my favorite pet. He was just awesome. Grammar doesn't matter. Sorry guys, I'm not editing this very good. It is a shame Albus had to go. My family will miss him so much, especially the world's best hamster owner, my sister. She loved him so much more than anybody else did in my family. She cared about Albus a lot. Rest in peace, Albus, Goose, Bubba, Geesey, Alan, a beast. So guys, these are just some names that um, we call my hamster Albus, but... So let's go ahead and put this here and let's get to the last page. So the last page is a song that my sister made. She's still working on it, but this is what she has so far, so don't judge. I'm just going to sing it as best as I can for you. Alan Abyssis, the unknown species, came to this world to discover Reese's Pieces. Oh, little geeseys! Song by Louis Vodder hamster owner. So guys, as you can see, this song is so awesome. As you can see, I, or as you can hear, I guess I should say, I said Alan Abyssis, the unknown species, came to this world, but I was supposed to say planet, but we kind of changed it from uh, world to planet. I kind of like world more, but my sister and my mom like planets. So, you know, I'm just going to miss Albus a lot. I'm going to upload a video about him. He was just so amazing, and leave a like, watch some of my other videos about Albus. He is so cute, I'm not even joking. But you know what I want to do? Um, I want to show you my new hamster. Uh, yes, I still have Thunder. I actually have a really cool playing set with him um, in my room right now. He's running around in it. I'll show you that after I show you the new hamster. So we just got this hamster about a day ago while I'm recording this. Um, so I cannot touch, I can touch him and pet him, but I can't take him out. So as you can see, the cage isn't super big. Um, this is actually one of the nicer ones that you can buy. Because it's actually nicer than those tube ones. Because sometimes hamsters will get caught or they'll poop in them a lot. And, you know, they can run around in their poop or it'll be really hard to clean. But here's the thing about us. We take our hamsters out when they want to come out. We can definitely tell when they want to come out when they're not in the bars. But my sister will still take them out from time to time. So, guys, um, you can see him right there. He's a little white guy. His name is Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle. I don't know if you know what that is. I'd say it's like a... Let me try to get him out for you guys. Oop, there he goes. Now he's a calm little fellow, not as hyper as Beast was, but you no, know, he's really, really cute actually. Um, 
He's about five, four, five, or six months old. We just got him yesterday. When we got Albus, he was actually only two months old. But you know, I'll just get a few clips of him. So, actually, I don't know what type of hamster he is. I'm pretty sure he's a winter white after beast, Albus. But as you can see, he has a pure white coat, and he's really, really, really cute. Um, not as cute as Albus, but, you know, he's adorable. Um, nobody's going to be as magical as Albus. I gotta say that, and I'm not just saying that because he's my pet. I'm going to be honest. Tony is an amazing dog. But he's not magical like Beast. Thunder, my other hamster, is awesome. But, you know, he's not magic. He's not magic like Albus. But, um, that's pretty much what I have to show you about my new hamster. Pretty cool, right? You know, Albus just lives such a happy and full life, you know. I'm happy for him. I don't feel, I don't feel sad because you know he lives such an awesome life. But as you can see, this is the thing that I have set up for my hamster. It is still in the making. He's actually running around in it somewhere. I still need to add his food and water. But let me go get him for you. Okay, guys, I actually cannot find him. But you know. I'm gonna make some more videos of him, cause you know I don't have a ton, but you know you can see has a pretty nice thing. He's got a nice big tube. His wheel. And I'm gonna try to search for him, but this is probably gonna be the end of my vlog. Thanks for watching. Um, please leave a like. You know, just for Albus, how magical he is. And believe it or not, if you actually subscribe to me, you will become a hamster lover. Actually, sorry for the error, I did not mean to say hamster lover. Yes, a hamster lover, but I'm going to call us all... Albus lovers or goose lovers um and you know so far we have 182 people that are or 180 something like that so you know it's pretty good after like almost three months that much subscribers anyways guys like I said this is gonna be the end of the vlog thank you for watching um be sure to check out new videos of my new hamster and thunder coming up in possibly the next two weeks, you know. But, that's pretty much all I gotta say. If you want to see uh, what I use for recording, you can uh, leave a comment on that. I have multiple different things, or like screen recording. Like I might have some Call of Duty gameplay. I'm thinking about it, maybe creating a... Uh, another channel which I already have but I don't know